All right, hey Cadre, been a while, haven't done a video. Um, oh, every time I thought I was gonna have time to do one, something came up, didn't have time. Some days I barely had time to shit at all, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, so uh, today is Veterans Day, so first thing first, I wanna say thank you to all our veterans out there. Uh, this country really could not be what it is without you guys, so thank you very much uh, for your service. And, uh, starting today, I think today's Monday, I'm having a bed in the duck moment here. Um, anyway, Monday, uh, starting, uh, shave stick week at the Cadre. So today's shave will be with Arco. I've got in this, uh, brute deodorant stick container thing. Um, works really well. Uh, just kind of had to break it down and smash it in there and it's all, uh, pressure thing anyway, so it works. And then today I am test shaving a couple of razors. I, uh, I'm working on learning how to use a couple codical stones for honing now. Um, so it is my synthetic hones, so I've got a couple of razors I honed up with to see how the edges came out. If it turns out they didn't come out, got the new long comb on backup. Um, I don't remember what blade I have in there right now, I have to go look. But yeah, so let's get this going. Uh, brush today is going to be the, uh, Vintage Ever Ready Handle with the Two Band Badger in it. And, uh, it's been a few minutes since I shaved, so I use a little bit of, uh, the CBL pre-shave oil. <clears throat> a little bit ago. To keep my face moisturized and not let it dry out too much. Another benefit of Arco. Is it's super hydrating to the hairs on your face, so... Um, also, I don't know how this is on camera, but I am... choosing to participate in Movember this month, instead of, uh, full no-shave November, so... I do have a little bit of a shadow of a stash going. I don't think it's gonna, you know, be anything to write home about by the end of the month, but... It is there. So, bingo started today on the cadre, so uh, I think only one call had been made by the time I went to bed this morning, so. Um, and no hit practice, so we'll see how the rest of the stuff goes once I have a chance to look later. Alright. Dogs are going nuts about something again. Yeah, I did not get the best of sleep today. Oops. Water. Uh, I did not get the best of sleep today because uh, we have an alleyway behind the house that gives us access to our backyards and stuff. And my neighbor to the rear was doing something, which they were not the problem. The problem is my dogs went absolutely berserk, including one who realized they could stick their head through the curtains and the sliding glass doors in the room I was sleeping in and see the people outside and therefore bark right next to my head. So, and that was at like 10 o'clock, so I, I'm going to sleep for a couple hours. I did get back to sleep, but overall sleep quality was probably not the best. Just not been a good weekend for that, apparently. Alright, more water. And some of you might have noticed, uh, kind of changed up my journal post style. I decided to kind of just not really worry about keeping track so much. Um, I was like, you know, the blades that I'm using, if I'm using a DE or something like that. Because honestly, numbers aren't going to tell me anything. Um, unless I'm specifically just wanting to really test the longevity of a blade or something. Um, it's going to just come down to, does it feel good? Is it still giving me a good shave? If not, it's coming out. So, I'm just not going to worry about tracking it too much. Maybe that 
quite as much soap on my face as I thought it did, but we'll make it work. I still need to add water to it, so making a huge mess today. But I'm also in the straights today, so all that really matters is slickness. Well, I think I'm going to call that good. Yes, guys, I know it's a little on the thin side. No, I do not actually care. <laughs> all right. All right, so first up <clears throat> will be this is the heavy razor. Uh, these are the Ben's razors, by the way. Um, so this is the heavy, which is an Alfred J. Crank from St. Paul, Minnesota, stamped. So I don't really know any history or anything on these, but we shall see how they shave. Well, so far, it feels decent. Very smooth. And it's definitely removing hair. I can see it in the ladder. So I think we might have got a good edge on this one. I know a lot of guys when they hone like to do various tests. <clears throat> and for me, you know, I like to make sure the bevel's fully set by shaving a little hair on the back of my hand. So that guy's pretty bald right now. He's doing a couple razors last night. Um, but as far as like, I have really, really fine like arm hair and uh, on my head as well. So I have almost never been able to get like a hanging hair test or tree topping test to actually work for me. I think the only razor I've ever had successfully treetop was an extra hollow grind. Cause those things just get wicked sharp. All right, so I'm calling Hattie good. <clears throat> so now, the razor is a Koch and Schaefer. Let's see how this one does, actually switch hands here. Right, so again, this one feels super smooth. So 
You know, I expected these to be like butter knives. Me, my first use of the cutter tools, but. <clears throat> I guess having the, uh, you know, basic knowledge of honing any uh, to begin with, probably. Oh, my chances of success. Yeah, it's definitely cutting hairs. So, I think we got two good edges. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but yeah, so I went with the um, kind of dilute cut method, one stone honing, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> for the most part. Um, hang on one second. So the one stone honing method for the most part, um, but I actually, I got two, right now it's lunch. Uh, yeah, need more soap. It's cool, but it's Arco and it's dirt cheap. Um, anyway. I got two cotton tools. I think I tried to say a few times there. Um, one is the Belgian blue. And the other is like the standard tan cotton tool. Um, and so the Belgian blues are, I think, are supposed to be just like faster cutting and not quite as smooth of an end product. Which, from what I can say from using it last night, I would agree with that. Um, I don't know about the smoothness off of it. I'll have to test that with one of my own razors. Just for kicks and giggles. Um, okay, and I'm actually going to just stick with the uh, caution shave for the rest of the shave because I like the way it feels. Uh, in the hand, it's got a nice little bit of, it's a little bit bigger razor. Um, I don't know if I fully showed you guys the other one, but I have you here, and then I just, I'm a big fan of the larger razors. I do like a good, you know, four eighths every now and then. I've got the spike that performs really great for me, but I just like a hefty feel. Anyway. Uh, so I ended up using the blue with a pretty heavy slurry. What am I doing? That's my bevel setter. I kind of worked it to the point that this, I got down to just water on that stone. And then I went to the regular cuticle, um, which is kind of what I saw a lot of people saying online is if you know something's got an established bevel already, um, that's really when you can do the true one stone honing with a cuticle. These guys definitely needed bevels to be properly established again, so. blue first and I actually tried skipping the blue on one of them and I just was not getting a good consistent edge uh, for a bevel so I took it back to the or took it to the blue first and sure enough got a nice pretty quick good bevel set I 
So finish them up on my uh, regular finisher, which is another, which is a natural stone. Um, really don't know what kind of stone it officially is. I got it from a guy on another forum who found it. Uh, I think he said on a hunting trip at some point. Um, he's a bit of a rock hound, so he found some uh, broken stone and kind of a little ravine area that looked interesting. Took some of it home, tested it out. And got some good results. So he went back and got more. And started making some homes. This was several years ago. Um, I think he kind of had to slow down just because he didn't really have time to really dedicate to it. Um, Hello, Grind. But yeah, so I did get the home from him. Um, it is very, very, very hard. Um, like when the when you tap like the back of the spine <clears throat> on the razor or on the home a little bit, it just it rings. It is super, super hard. Um, but it gives a very, very super, super smooth, comfortable edge. In addition to being stupendously sharp. And uh, yeah, I'd say these razors got some good edges because I am. Pretty much BBS as is. Just got a couple of spots that I'll probably clean up a little bit here. Oh, 18 minutes. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I irritated my face pretty good yesterday. So, just rinse off real quick. Spike tips didn't break the skin, but it definitely left some scratches. <clears throat> so that is that for the shave. Uh, I'm gonna do my usual. There's coconut water. I think when this runs out, I'm just gonna start using my. Uh, what do you call it? Ultimate Osage mix. That's my. Kind of first aftershave. It's got the witch hazel, aloe, and osage. And it really, it, the scent on it is super strong when you first apply it, but it disappears really, really fast. Um, but it just, it's really nice. So I think I'll stick with that. And I discovered um, just kind of combining a bunch of stuff into kind of a, a whoops, toothbrush is down into a Franken splash, I guess you could say, that apparently Osage plus Witch Hazel, even though they're both very clear, turn into this kind of like funky, not clear green color. So some sort of interesting reaction there. This makes it so that, and it does the same thing in the uh, Ultimate Osage. But you get this like weird floaty thing at the top and then you shake it up and it goes just like that. I think that's the aloe separating out. 
but yeah, so I'm gonna clean up and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, yeah, so while I was cleaning up, I kind of had a thought that I think it might, uh, I didn't get enough of the soap on the face, just possibly because I didn't have a whole lot of growth, because yesterday I really pushed it, and was rewarded with lots of irritation, but it, I mean, I barely could feel the growth even this morning, so, or afternoon. It's morning to me. Um, so anyway, today I'm using some vintage Avon Clint that I've decanted into this hot sauce bottle. It's probably one of my favorite aftershaves. Whoo, yep. Might need to use, I'll give my face a couple of days. It's, wasn't as bad yesterday, but definitely. You can see on the camera a little bit, turning pretty red there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hit some uh, Aramis, which this may or may not be supposed to be based on. They're very similar, at the very least, in parallel, so I'm going to hit some of that before I leave the house today for work. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to let you guys go. Come check us out on The Shaving Cadre if you're uh, just finding this on YouTube or something. Um, www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm UA Cowboy over there. Catch you guys later.